Third hand smoke is a thing. What's up? I'm Mr. Lamb and I'm going to give you the rundown on the short answer. First, a little bit of background. First hand smoke is when you are the smoker, you are smoking the cigarette yourself and you're ingesting all those chemicals that come with cigarettes. Second hand smoke is when you're near a smoker and you inhale all the toxic chemicals 4,000 toxic chemicals actually, uh, from the smoke around the area. Many of you may have experienced third hand smoke and might not know it. Uh, so the other day I was in the restroom and someone walks in and all of a sudden it smells like someone was smoking. You've smelled it before, I'm sure. There's no cigarette in sight, you don't see any smoke anywhere around, but you still smell like someone's smoking or someone had been smoking. What that is, is residual le leftover. Uh, the toxic chemicals from cigarettes stick onto people's clothes, they stick onto your skin, they get trapped in their hair, and it slowly, not fumigates, but it slowly releases out into the environment. That is third hand smoke. Actually, on second thought, fumigate is actually a pretty good word. I like to think about third hand smoke like forensics, like a uh, trace evidence, something that's left over from the crime scene, but you can still track it down, you can still detect it. So we've known the dangers of first-hand smoking for quite a while now. We've known the dangers of second-hand smoking and how it kills millions of people every year. So is third-hand smoking dangerous uh, right now? Well, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's dangerous. Third-hand smoking is a relatively new phrase, so... We don't know exactly how dangerous it is, but yeah, it is dangerous. First-hand smoke, when you get a puff, you're inhaling a whole big bunch of toxins all at once. In second-hand smoking, very similar to first-hand smoking, right? You're standing next to a person smoking or you're in the proximity of someone that's smoking and you're breathing in that toxic air with, like I said earlier, over 4,000 toxic chemicals, many of them carcinogens causing cancer. Uh, so, short amount of time, a whole lot of toxic entering your body at once. Third hand smoke is different because you get exposed to it gradually over a long period of time. It doesn't go away once a cigarette is out. So if you walk into a room where someone has smoked before, it's everywhere, basically on all the surfaces you could touch. So how long does this stuff stick around? Well, a collaboration between UCR and UCSF did a study and what they did was they took towels and they exposed them to cigarette smoke in a lab and cut them up. Okay, so after one month, two months, three months, going on to one and a half years, they took measurements of the toxic chemicals, the third hand smoke, in these towels, and they did find a decrease, right? The stuff did air out slowly, but even after one and a half years, the residuals from the original smoke we're still there. As always, check out the description to see that study. So there is a reason why your car's resale value goes way down if you've ever smoked in the car before. It doesn't go away. There's a reason why renters, uh, car rental agencies, don't let you smoke in a car, even though some people do, all right? Because it sticks around. You can't really get rid of it. So we're gonna do a little demonstration showing why going outside to smoke still isn't that good for your kids. So we're gonna use powder right here. This is a flower uh, to simulate cigarette smoke. And Irene's basically going to just throw it on me to show how the smoke gets on my body. All right, cool. So obviously you don't really see cigarette you don't actually see cigarette smoke the way you see this flower um, because cigarette smoke has fine particulate matter that lands on you and your eyes can't really resolve that. But this is exaggerated. This is what happens after you smoke a cigarette or after you walk around a bunch of smoke. Um, this stuff's gonna land on you and um, basically it sticks to your clothes, it sticks to your skin. It's probably in my hair on my face right now. Even though I pat myself off a little bit, you're gonna have small amounts of it on you. So if you walk inside and you play with your kids, then it's gonna end up on them as well. Now we didn't do this demonstration indoors because I don't wanna clean it up, but come on walk over here. And let's say this is your carpet or these are your curtains at home and you smoke inside or indoors. Um, this would be exactly what would happen. You'll have the residual, you'll have the third hand smoke landing on your floors, landing on your carpets, and it basically stays there, right? This stuff doesn't really go away. Um, so you're gonna be breathing that in or your toddlers crawling on the floor are gonna be inhaling that as well. There is hope though. Uh, recently, basically all the UCs have banned smoking in their uh, campuses, creating smoke-free campuses, um, which is great. Also, since the term third-hand smoke was coined in about 2009, I think, uh, research for third-hand smoke and residual from smoking has skyrocketed. So we're gonna be learning a lot more about um, the health effects and the dangers of third-hand smoking in the coming years, which is good news. And that pretty much sums it up for third-hand smoke. 
As always, please like and subscribe if you like this video. And if you have any questions relating to this at all, leave it in the comment section or any future questions for something you want me to answer. Thanks for watching and as always, stay curious.